Ladies and gentlemen, current and former shipmates, family and friends, on behalf of the Executive Director, Colonel James Venata, welcome to Kirtland Air Force Base and the retirement ceremony for Commander Ricardo Smash Padilla, United States Navy. I am Lieutenant Patrick Taniguchi, your MC for today's ceremony. We are gathered this morning in a time-honored tradition of sending our shipmate Smash ashore for the last time and recognizing his 32 years of honorable and distinguished service to our nation. We would like to extend a special welcome to Commander Padilla's family, his wife Lynette, his daughter Kylie, his son Captain Derek Padilla, United States Air Force, and his daughter-in-law Dr. Jessica Padilla. Also a special welcome to his family who have traveled from North Carolina, California, Ohio, Texas, Colorado, Nebraska, and Arizona to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for Parade to the Colors, the National Anthem, and Invocation. Side boys, host! States Navy, arriving. <laughs> Chief Warrant Officer, United States Army, retired, arriving. States Air Force, arriving. Bad boys.
colors of her arch. You know, one of the, uh, the most beautiful things about Christianity is the various names of God. And today we have a very special request to pray to a specific name for God. So would you join me in prayer today? Dear, sweet baby Jesus, we thank you for the ability to come here today on this beautiful day as we gather to recognize Commander Padilla and his service to this nation. God, we also recognize his wife, Lynette, and his children, Kylie and Derek, for their sacrifice in support of their family's calling, of this high calling. We ask that you bless this ceremony as we reflect on past accomplishments and look forward to future joy and future rewards. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain Ogden. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the guest speaker for today's ceremony is Chief Warrant Officer 4, Roberto Ramos Flores, retired. Chief Ramos served in the United States Army for 25 years as an electronic systems maintenance warrant officer. He served in a variety of assignments to include 3rd Special Warfare Group, as well as Director of Ordnance, Warrant Officer Training Department, Fort Lee, Virginia. His final assignment was here at the RCO as a member of the ground team. Upon his return as a civilian, he worked with SMASH on the maritime team. They were a fantastic team and produced phenomenal results for the command. Ladies and gentlemen, Chief Ramos. Distinguished guests, family, friends, men and women from the FSU, uh, good morning. Great weather, but hopefully it doesn't get too hot before we start sweating. <laughs> it is great to be back in Albuquerque. I felt like I left a year ago, but I don't miss you guys. It's only been, what, a month? And I'm back already. It's, it's, I'm so glad that uh, Commander Padilla or Smash, you know, allowed me uh, to be his, his guest speaker and honor his uh, 32 years of dedicated service. You know, he got me beat by a lot, so uh, I'm proud of him. Uh, or we should have been in the same uh, year group because we graduated the same year. I just took a break, you know, before coming in. Uh, Lucia, thanks for the introduction. Uh, it's an honor and pri privilege, again, to be here. Lynette, hey, thanks for support. Commander Spadigi's career, we know it's, it's not an easy task. All the deployments, and when he talks, they get worse than the, than the Army. You know, we go a few months, come back, but he's always gone. So thank you for supporting him. It's hard to see a relationship lasting that long in the military. Kyle and Derek, again, thank you. I know it's hard moving around. I know my kids hated it. You know, especially when they were seniors, they didn't want to move to a point that I have to move myself only so they can graduate with their friends and girlfriends, boyfriends. So I know how hard it is for you guys. Again, thank you uh, for your support. Again, for those of you who have served the military, you know the tremendous support our uh, family gets to us. You know, if we have family problems when we're downrange, you know, it makes it hard. So we, we have to have that strong family supporting us to make a successful career like Commander Spadigia's uh, career. I don't know if you have a time to see his uh, bio. Impressive. You know, he, he flew the helicopters. I know he wanted to be a, a jet pilot. And he took a helo. I still trying to learn the, uh, the Navy, you know, Names, you know, I call it the black heart. We call it something else. <laughs> but, uh, but talking to him is impressive. It's the missions they do, the dangers of the missions, and, uh, and the sacrifices, the loss of friends, you know, doing the mission. And I admire that. Probably me, I would have fly one time and quit. That's just me. Again, me and Smash, we met about two years ago. Actually, two years and two weeks ago. And uh, when uh, RJ, one of our uh, ground team guys, uh, talked to me when I was coming back from retirement, he told me, you're going to be working with a Navy commander. You know, and I'm like, okay. 
He's like, well, don't worry. He's a, he's a really good guy. You know, uh, he's not he's not in a power struggle. He's not going to come in and you know put you to war. You guys going to be fighting. You guys going to do okay. And from day one, we click. You know, we we say, hey, this is your role. This is my role. And we went on. And uh, we got two successful years. You know, and it's like a relationship. Before he dumped me, I dumped him. So I <laughs> go somewhere else. I drive all the way to Colorado. You know, and I was driving back nervous. I'm gonna see him again. <laughs> so, uh, so my wife was laughing. Uh, are you nervous? You know, you, you're gonna go back. And, hey, it's all right. You know, we still care for each other. <laughs> so, anyway, so we did many, many trips, and uh, Lynette knows because I know she she got mad. You know, like he's traveling so much, but it's, it's part of the job. And during these trips and in the office. We literally talk about everything, from movies, to life, to family, to everything, to the point that we are discussing to write a book. Things that we see at the airport. Because, you know, remember you got that website, things that you see at Walmart? Pay attention when you go to the airport. Way crazy. And follow up with a sequel. Excuse me, that's my seat. Because every single time, we, 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 we bet who is going to have his seat taken. And it's always, that's my seat. No, it's not. That's 2A. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> so, again, so we got those books, you know, cooking. We just need a security uh, approval for the list. <laughs> so, again, uh, Commander Padin, you joined us in June uh, 2020. And, again, two years went so fast. As soon as we met, he told me his intent to retire, so I told him, start planning. He's like, it's two years out, start planning now. It's going to come fast. And he did. And here you are, ready for a transition. So, and again, we all know due to the high classified uh, nature of our business, you don't realize the sacrifices and, and how we impact uh, our world today, but it's, it's, it's been great. Especially when we get on the road, it's been great because we see the fruits uh, take place. And uh, out every single mission, I was proud every time I came back. Telling my wife, I wish I could tell you, but it went great. So again, thank you for your service. You know, I hope I get to fly with you, you know, once I make that kind of money to, you know, to pull you in or add spirit. You know, hopefully you don't get a spirit job because every I don't fight spirit. And uh, but again, thank you all for coming down on this special day. And may God continue to bless our families and uh, and the United States. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Ramos. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as Chief Ramos presents Commander Padilla the Legion of Merit, and remain standing for the reading of the retirement orders. Attention to award for exceptionally meritorious conduct and performance of outstanding service as Maritime Projects Manager serving in the Department of the Air Force Rapid Capabilities Office Field Support Unit from June 2020 to June 2023, Commander Padilla skillfully led a team of military, civilian, and contractors in the rapid assessment of sensitive intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities, ensuring combatant commanders access to time-sensitive data and actionable intelligence to the war. A dynamic leader developed novel solutions to difficult logistical challenges imposed by the pandemic, ensuring assessments and qualifications were fully conducted while addressing resource constraints and mitigation protocols. The authority for a full portfolio of maritime-based initiatives, his leadership ensured the successful fielding over 80% of the total projects delivered by the command. Commander Padilla's decisive decision-making and sound acumen led to the command, led the command to excel and exceed operational objectives to provide classified project support with innovative solutions, which enhanced predictive battle space awareness and fulfilled an Undersecretary of Defense for Intelligence and Security Critical Intelligence requirement. Commander Padilla's superior performance of duties culminated in his nearly 32 years of honorable and dedicated military service. By his exceptional professionalism, distinctive contributions, selfless dedication to duty, Commander Padilla reflected great credit upon himself and the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Order 
number 030372. Your request to be transferred to the retired list was approved by the Secretary of the Navy effective 1 June 2023. You will be transferred to the retired list with the grade of commander. Please join me in giving Commander Padilla a round of applause for his dedicated service. Please be seated. We'd now like to invite Lynette to the stage. We'd like to present Lynette with a certificate of appreciation for her steadfast support throughout Commander Padilla's career. Certificate of appreciation to all who shall see these presents greetings. By the authority vested in me, it is my pleasure to express the grateful appreciation of the United States Navy to Lynette Padilla for her your unselfish, faithful, and devoted service during your husband's naval career. Your unfailing support and understanding helped to make possible your husband's lasting contribution to the nation given this 14th day of October 2022. This time, we'd also like to invite Kylie and Derek to the stage. We would also like to present Kylie and Derek with a certificate of appreciation for their steadfast support, their father throughout their career. A certificate of appreciation to all who shall see this presence greetings. By the authority vested in me, it is my pleasure to express the grateful appreciation of the United States Navy to Kylie and Derek Padilla for their unselfish, faithful, and devoted service during their father's naval career. Your unfailing support and understanding helped make possible your father's lasting contribution to the nation, given this 14th day of October, 2022. Uh, please welcome Mr. Tex Lennon, Director of Operations, to the stage. Wave off. Copy. Thank you, Mr. Lennon. Please be seated. All right, ladies and gentlemen, smash video. morning this is uh this is surreal anyone who i've talked to this morning i'm a complete basket case but i just want to say thank you uh thank you chief that was awesome i mean we really did keep the lights on and i'm very proud of, of everything we did so that's great 377th honor guard i know you guys were around still so thank you very much my side boys Tech Sergeant Valdez, Sergeant Gaetan, Senior Cook, um, Tech Sergeant Neal, and uh, MR1, <laughs> and Sergeant Stewart. Uh, thank you guys so much for, for everything. Uh, shout out to my shipmates, uh, Leonard and Kim, uh, Pat and Anna that are out there, Eddie and Melissa, uh, Sean, John and Pamela, Isaac, Manny, uh, Ro, who's probably not here. Uh, Dinger and Siggy, thank you guys for being here. Uh, I'd like to thank my family. Uh, like, you, like I said, everybody traveled in for a long ways away. And uh, my brother, uh, my sisters, uh, my mom, thank you all for coming and, and spending 
spending today with us. It's, uh, it's kind of an important day to us, so thanks. Um, I wish my dad was here. I, I really miss him a lot. Uh, my dad was my, my first salute when we got commissioned uh, back in the day, so uh, I'd like to think he'd be proud of, of everything that, that we as a team have done today and, and pulled off. So that's that. To the, to the Bubba's at the FSU, thanks. Sergeant Stoller, Sergeant Conklin for helping out. Uh, Bill, uh, Eric, Travis, uh, Ryan, J2, Mindy, Ty, Steve, Jeff, Britt, Asher, everyone else that I obviously missed. Uh, thank you guys. You guys are what made me successful, made us successful, uh, putting everything out. I mean, Maritime, we truly, Maritime truly kicked ass over the last couple of years, in my opinion, and and we were able to deliver because you guys delivered, uh, and and for that I, I can never thank you enough. And and you guys, you guys made it possible. I just have one huge ask of you: is that uh, you guys support uh, Lieutenant Colonel Brewer the way that you uh, have supported me, because we're going to carry on the mission. You know, I'm gone, but the mission keeps going. And as, as Chief so awesomely said, the mission is huge. It's important. And uh, while we tell you guys, family, hey, we just go out and deliver pizza, <laughs> I tell, I, I like, we're doing God's work, you know, what we do out there. So it's a big deal. I've been on your side of the podium, I don't know a dozen or more times watching everyone come up and give their give their speeches, give their words. And, and then it's like, well, you know, what am, what am I going to say? And honestly, right now, I'm still wondering what I'm going to say. But this day has been in the making, not just for the last two years, but, you know, for, for our in, in, entire career. Uh, for me, the last few months, have, you know, given me a chance to get a glimpse of the future. And really all I can say is, you know, go back. <laughs> you know, cherish those memories, cherish the guys you're working with, right? It's about the guy next to you because before you know it, Sergeant Stewart and Sergeant Cook, you guys are gonna be on this side of the podium. And, and trust me, it, you're gonna remember everything. And you're like, man, good times that we had. Uh, so, that's, yeah, that's the big thing, right? Just just cherish that. So I come to it like, am I really worthy of, of, of having everyone come and celebrate me? I don't know. Um, when I was a kid, my whole thing was I'm going to join, I'm going to join the Air Force. Now I'm going to be an F-15 driver like Siggy is. Uh, but it really didn't work out that way, obviously. I enlisted in the Navy and, and, and was fortunate enough to uh, become, uh, to get my commission. So... While our family's journey is not normal, I don't think any of ours are normal. We all have that unique journey. So take that uniqueness and look back on it and just remember it. So back in 90, 1995, on my first ship, uh, the USS Holland, I, I, I got a letter, a, a penned letter, and it said, hey, EM2 Padilla, I've reviewed all the service records on board the ship, and I think you are a good candidate for an education program or a commissioning program. Signed, Ensign Russ Bennett, admin officer. I was like, this guy doesn't even know me. I've never talked to him, but he saw my record and thought I was worthy to do this. And for our family, it's made all the difference in the world. You know, a few years later, I was graduating from San Diego State University, getting my commission. Uh, and then I started flight school. And, and as Chief said, I knew I was getting jets because I loved airplanes and it can't be that hard. Uh, you know, it was, it got to the point where, well, I hope I survived this mile swim and can do it in 60 minutes. And I realized if you ain't first, you're last. I was not first, but I finished and I'm here. So I'm happy for that. I was just grateful and praying, hey, you know, sweet little baby Jesus, let me let me complete flight school and earn my wings, and and I did, and and that goes without saying about 
the sacrifices uh, that we made. And when I say we, a lot of people are like, what do you mean we? I say, it's, it's our whole family. This, this whole journey has, has been for our family. And, and Chief talked about it. He touched on it. He said, you know, you guys moved. Well, in three years, if you go to five elementary schools, I'm sure that's, that's not a tough thing. Uh, it's, it's, it's hard moving in the middle of school year, leaving everyone. And then when your husband says, hey, by the way, I need you to move from Guam back to the United States by yourself because I'm on deployment. Or, hey, I'm in flight school. Well, I need you to move the kids across the country. No one, no, she never asked. Lynette never asked, never complained, and we did it. Uh, and so that's, you know, the, the challenges weren't just mine. The challenges were, were my family. And you guys all know, all my bubbas know, family to me is everything, right? Um, I always talk about that. And I always try to make sure that I spent time with, with Kylie and Derek, um, whether it was going out and throwing the ball, whether it was listening to the big voice come on. Um, it was important, you know. I would leave work, be in uniform, drive to the football game so I could see Kylie cheer, you know. Or I'd, I'd procure a government asset and fly over my son's baseball game or practice just so that he would know I was there. But, you know, it was, it was training. It was all in the name of training that I, that I did that. The point I'm, I'm trying to get to is that Thank you guys for sacrificing. You know, you allowed me to be selfish. This is everything, and 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 you guys allowed me to pursue that. And I love you guys. With all that time that I did have to spend away from them, you know, oftentimes, well, oftentimes, there are times when your kids can go astray and and not really be the the stand up citizen that you want or. Don't live up to parents' expectations. Regardless, we, we love them. But for all the time I was gone, and that Lynette was in that position of mom, dad, chauffeur, mowing the lawn, you know, cleaning the house, uh, it, it was it was everything, right? And and the kids with all that still turned out all right. You know, Kylie, Kylie's a labor and delivery nurse now. She she travels around the country working at different hospitals. And, and Derek's a captain in the Air Force. You know, he graduated from law school and, and didn't choose the Navy, but I don't hold him against it, you know? Like I said, you still love your kids, regardless. I'd like to say that the success of, of Kai and, and Derek is, is because of you. You were always there for them, so, you know, it was, it's awesome. Kids know how to play us against each other. You know, hey, mama, I want to go to Europe after graduation from college. Okay, ask your mom. You know, little things like that. But we were always a team. And we were always a team in the way we looked at, at how they were. And I think it's a great thing. Um, in that, like I said, you you had to you had to watch over them, and and you you never complained. And seven deployments later. Navy deployments. Seven deployments later, um, everything is fine, and now I'm coming home. I'm sad that I missed your college graduation, and I'm sorry, um, but you're the best, and and you're kind of stuck with me. As I've been rambling on, the last 32 years have been a really, truly, truly blessed career. I've traveled the world, and it does count. Port, port visits count as traveling the world. Um, the Navy allowed me to earn my associate's degree, my bachelor's degree, my master's degree, and, and, and my wings. I've got to blow stuff up, fire missiles, drop torpedoes, uh, shoot machine guns out of, out of the bird, and most importantly, I've, I've had the opportunity to lead sailors. Uh, I participated in a conclave of commanders, and if, you don't know what that is, it's okay, because it's about a conclave of commanders. And it's always nice, and I took from it, being able to talk with senior guys and just sit there and, and have a good chat. And to me, that's been one of the biggest things that I've had for the last two years. I've truly lived the dream, is what it is. 
but I would not be successful, as I said, if it wasn't for you guys. Yeah. I've had the opportunity to work with a space commando, a Viking, a Navy chief, an Army chief, uh, Silverado, my maintenance Bubba's, and my Bubba's from Ball. Uh, my success is because I've stood on all your guys' shoulders. You guys have lifted me up so that we could be successful. And while I strive, you know, to live by we Weekly's rules of, you know, treat all with dignity and respect, be all in, solve problems, don't create issues, um, leave, the, leave the uniform in a better place, and be all in, I have lived by the words of Chief Hawkins in that, listen, take care of yourself, then you take care of your family, and then take care of the Navy. Because if you can't do those first two things, you can't take care of the Navy and do your job. I love you guys, um, and, and you guys, you know I mean that. Uh, I call you guys family, and, and I've always treated it as a family as best I could in every tour I've been to, because to me, family is everything. So with my 12 minutes of talking, I'd like to just leave you guys a thought and a, and a quote from Henry V. For me, it, it gives my thoughts on service to country and of giving to something that is bigger than yourself. Because as I said earlier, in the end, it's about the guy next to you. It's about the crew you fly with or your guy that's in the foxhole next to you. It's about family. Go by from this day to the end of time without our being remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For whoever sheds his blood with me today shall be my brother. However, however humble his birth, this day shall grant him nobility. And men back in England, now safe in their beds, will curse themselves for not having been here and think less of their own manhood when they listen to the stories who fought with us here on St. Crispin's Day. God bless you guys. God bless my brothers in arms around the world and God bless America.